So I am again back with the uh, EDK project. This is a part four of the EDK project to transfer a chunk of data from DDR4 memory to peripheral, do some computation and get back the data through DMA to the DDR memory. So the FPG has been programmed, uh, you know, that we have just done uh, in the last program by the, by the end of the last, uh, you know, video. And now what we have to do is we have to run the application. So for that, what you have to do is go to run configurations. So this is the L file that you're going to, uh, you know, dump it onto the instruction memory. So go to SDDI connection, connect the SDDI to console because anyway you have to see what data is actually transferred, what computation has happened, how the, whether the data is transferred or all this stuff. So this communication is actually taken care or uh, carried through RS-232, uh, you know, protocol that we have already added to the hardware. So now it's connected to COM11 and what we had just have to do is run it. You can either use a hyper terminal uh, software or uh, the SDK itself provides you with a software uh, uh, console where it's actually loading it. It's already already 36 percentage loaded. The L file is loaded, and it will complete in a couple of seconds. Yeah, it's it's been completed now. Data is getting returned into DDR. Yeah, well, it's all 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 are complete. All is done. So what happened is like uh, some data had been returned into the DDR, and these are the data that had been returned into the DDR. So it's like some 50 uh, 50 data has been written into yeah 31 we inside it's 48 plus 1 so 0 to 49 has been written into uh, the DDR memory and I did the DMA initialization now what you have to do is transfer this chunk of data not uh, entirely maybe transfer this chunk of data uh, into the peripheral so set the control uh, register values and you know just display it uh, to make sure that this is correct so C00 is a uh, exact control register value that need to be that had to be set in uh, DMA and uh, here the transfer has started and now what happens is that there is a do while loop uh, which checks whether uh, the status register is getting back to zero status register register getting back to zero means that the transfer has been completed so it says that now the transfer has been completed so uh, so here is the result of the DMA transfer the DMA transfer is completed so whatever has been uh, the the chunk of data you add five in the peripheral so what hardware does is uh, whenever some data is written into this particular memory it takes a memory value adds five to it and stores it into the second memory so the data written into the memory was like 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And now the data, the, the computed data is like 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. till 55. But since I've only displayed a, a couple of data that had been written into the memory 0 and that has been transferred back to the memory. So this is what actually, uh, what is there in now in DDR memory. So a chunk of data has been transferred, it has been computed, it has been stored to another memory. Then from that memory, the DMA is actually doing the transfer into the DDR RAM. So this is what is actually right now in the DDR RAM. So the computation is perfect and the program also uh, you know, work perfectly. I hope uh, it, it was of great help to you. Uh, and this is Zeebo Jacob Thomas signing off. Thank you.